Okay, what do we have today? So, Dimash Kudaibergen, and the song is called Omir. Now, one of my patron supporters said that Omir means life. I hope she's right. Without further ado, let's go check it out together. Life. Let me just pause it here for a second. So this one is very personal. You can hear it in his voice. You can see it in the lyrics. So the song is called Life. And we have this kind of, a, well, basically a storyline going off from Dimash's childbirth or from his early ages to his development as a human, as a performer. We had a couple of uh, parts of him like playing the piano, learning to play piano. A lot of clips that we already reacted to and that we all love, like from Singer and from his music videos and from his TV appearances. So Dimash had, has already lived a life that most of us can only dream. And he, he lived a very interesting life. And yet somehow... Sometimes he still feels the void inside. And I think this is something that a lot of us, at least in one point in our life, go through. But interestingly enough, that Dimash is grateful for everybody. And he's grateful for this life. He's kind of saying, please don't, please don't make me please don't make me weep, I guess. Please don't make me cry. Please don't make me uh, ask for things to get better or something like that. There's still half song to listen to but i think he's also kind of talking to us because he said i will cherish you thank you for everything and i love you and i think dimash is really appreciative of his dears and all the fans and his family i mean think about it just even people who do reaction videos i think he's really appreciative of all of us because we're spreading the good word about an amazing person an amazing artist and a <sighs> best singer in the world. I've, I've said it a million times and I'm going to say it a million again. But this song is very, very, like, personal. That's what I'm getting so far. And you can also notice it in the choice of the way he sings. So far, it's all deep. And I often connect deeper sound, like deeper singing, to more, like, of a spoken word, of a more of a conversational type. Whenever somebody's singing deeper it's usually more personal. When somebody's reaching for higher notes, I'm not saying that that can't be emotional. Of course it can. 
million ways to do that right but sometimes it's just to show off but this song is definitely so far just like a um, diary and so far I'm enjoying what I'm reading in the diary <laughs> Jackie Chan I yelled at Shokba Mikene Amala Kaira Akara Maska Akala Maska Ashala Oh, this might be my favorite Dimash song in a while. First of all, the acoustic guitar, whoever is playing it, is doing a masterful job. And this is such an emotional song. Ooh, and the way he showed his mom and everything, and his performance with Aida Garipulina and uh, that one. Uh, Fa uh, Lara Fabian and everybody, even Andrea Bocelli. I've actually haven't checked out that video. I've seen it somewhere, but I've never reacted to it. Uh, I've just seen a clip somewhere, very short. But all in all, like I, I need to listen to this last part one more time because this last part is just he's kind of also getting a bit mad at life for. I think a bit. It's like life is hard, you know. Even if you have a perfect life, even, I mean, what's perfect, but even if you have a life that you would really want and everything, you always tend to wonder, like, is there something more that you can be doing or is there something else where you need to be and stuff like that. And I think that Dimash is maybe in this kind of crossing point in his life where he has done a lot of amazing things with music, with his videos, with concerts. And I think he's at a point where he's trying to find a way to do more and maybe doesn't know how. And he's also, he's not at his peak when it comes to, you know, there was this period where everybody was just listening to Dimash, everybody know his most famous covers and his original songs. Now it has gotten slowed down a bit, you know, and maybe some people aren't reacting to Dimash as much and stuff like that. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really reacting to him because, I don't know, because I want to make money or something, because these videos really don't make money. They make Dimash money, and I have no problem with that. But even if they would make me something, it's really such a small amount that if, if, if that was the reason I was making these videos, I would stop ages ago, you know. So definitely, you can ask anybody. YouTube is not really great when it comes to ad revenue. We try to do that in some other ways, but even that's kind of a struggle. But I do do these videos, especially Dimash's videos, because I really, really love him as an artist. I really love him as a person, and I 
there's maybe I'm maybe I'm being boring here a bit, but I can really notice when somebody's faking and when somebody is not faking. And Dimash has never faked a single thing when he's singing. He is really delivering all of himself every single freaking time. It's almost incredible and it's something that everybody can learn from. He's truly a master of his art form. And sometimes when you're giving all of yourself, that sometimes comes with a prize because you're putting everything on the line, all of your emotions. And sometimes people won't uh, react to that maybe the way you would like them. Maybe you're giving them everything and they only can, first of all, absorb only a part of it. Because honestly, not all of us can even comprehend the emotion that Dimash is going through. So as much as we love him, he's going he's going through all of this on a completely higher level than any of us. Even us who maybe understand music in a deeper way, but Dimash has a very big connection with everything he does. And I can kind of understand that as an artist. Sometimes you're giving all of yourself, even when I'm teaching my students, you know, sometimes I'm giving 200% of myself and yeah, they pick apart most of it. They, they, they take some of that and they will carry some of that through their life, but they will never carry, they will never maybe understand that 200% that I'm giving them. Maybe they only see the 80% or something like that because they have their own life. They have their own struggles. They have something else that they think about that doesn't even cross my mind. You know, there are a lot of these things that just we're all different. It would be amazing if Dimash had maybe 100 people that completely can feel everything. I think he would feel like he's in a perfect place. But that maybe never happens. But all in all, maybe I'm going a bit all over the place. What I'm saying is Dimash is really an incredible person, really a wonderful artist. And I can honestly say there will never, ever, ever be anybody that comes close to him. And I just wish him the strength and mental stability and uh, peacefulness of his soul just to kind of... Uh, get through life because sometimes life is hard and sometimes when you're doing amazing things which he is creating new songs creating new uh, music videos and maybe they don't get as much views as some other videos that he has done and that happens with every artist this is not new maybe that feels like a defeat to him but trust me this isn't a defeat i i would really like him to hear this this isn't a defeat this is just you being you and you sh and that's the best thing that you can do for the rest of your life please don't change you know, experiment and do stuff like that. But as a person, please don't change. You're good. I can honestly say that. Now, let me just get back to this last part because I really enjoyed it. But before I do that, I've launched my own merch. So if you really want to support these videos, because as I said, I'm really not making anything from these videos. Honestly, I can show you the graphs. It's, it's nothing like literally zeros. But if you want to become a part of our community, help me make more of these videos, support what I do, check out. I made a merch store and this is my design. This is my logo, H of the stage. I'm super proud of my merch, t-shirts, hoodies. Check it out. There's something for everybody. I'm really proud how they turned out. Before I've even launched my site, I've ordered four different samples of my merch so I can test them out to see the quality and stuff like that because I don't want to sell just anything to you. I really want you to have good things. I'm super proud of these products. I'm especially proud of t-shirts. I mean, eight shirts and uh, hoodies. Yeah, when you buy anything, please send me the pictures of you wearing it so I can share it around my Instagram. And I would really love to see you one day wearing these in, in real life. It would really mean the world to me. But let's go back to Dimash because this song is really a masterpiece. <laughs> Igor Kurtoy and Lara Fabian. Man. I'm grateful to you. I'm 
I mean, this is the perfect example of word painting. Word painting is when uh, uh, the lyrics uh, are showing what's happening in the music, let's say. So basically, he's doing it all of that with his voice. So when he sings, don't knock me down, like, he's basically doing, don't knock me down. So he's kind of really delivering this punch and he's doing it with grit and with a lot of anger. And maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe that's not completely worth painting, but to me, it just fits that part completely. <laughs> And listen to this run. What the hell? This descending line and this slide on the acoustic guitar. <gasps> I just love it. Whoever wrote this song, congrats, man. I want to hug you. I want to kiss you. This is incredible. <laughs> and it's perfect. His voice goes descending while the guitar slides up a bit. <gasps> These simple, I mean, it sounds simple, but this is freaking hard. And especially after that gritty sound, it's very hard to go into a clean voice, completely clean and pitch perfect. But this is the match, so. <laughs> and even Pope. I forgot that he saw Pope one day. And the chord at the end. This is a perfect song. Thank you to everybody who has participated in this song. Thank you, Dimash, for always giving us quality music. And thank you all for watching. It really means the world to me. I know I've said that a lot of times, but it does really mean the world. Even if these videos have 1,000 views, 10,000 views, 100,000 views, even if it has only 10 views, I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. Please share these videos around. Sometimes this channel just can't grow without everybody's help. I wish I could just put a lot of money into the channel and it would mirac miraculously work, but it, it doesn't really go like that. And if you want to support in some other way, do check out my merch that I've already mentioned. I will leave a link in the description. I'm super proud of it. Once again, this is my logo. My friend uh, designed it. I mean, with my help, of course, but she she's the mastermind behind it and it looks darn good if I do say so myself. Thank you for watching and see you next time.